So what we're going to do here is um, a simple trade on the ladder. Um, we're going to see if we can pick up on a direction that a price is going in. I mean, at the moment we can see here that Ballytoba is drifting quite a bit. Um, if we have a look at this, this is going nowhere. Uh, this is sort of slightly coming in and the favorite is drifting a little bit as well. So let's put a position on based upon a drifting favorite. Can you see it's just moved again? That's a bit of a pain. Um, so I'm going to put an order in at uh, 4.5. We need to wait for that to fill. If I think the price is shooting out, I can click above it and it will just take the best available price, which is what we've done on this occasion. Now, if you want to be clever, what you can actually do is put your closing trade in um, either by clicking over here, or if you want to, you can actually click on the trading profit column and that will put the closing trade in as well. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, we're going to cancel this order because we no longer need that and we're basically waiting for the price to head out in this direction. So um, with a bit of luck that money will get taken at 5 and it will push and go to 5.1. But you can see at the moment that the market can't decide which way it wants to go. So if you want to be a little bit cautious you may want to move that position down or put a closing trade in below it. So you can see we've got two unmatched bets here, one, one of which hasn't been matched, one of, uh, well actually both of them haven't been matched, but one is unlikely to get matched fairly soon, uh, but this one will. Oh, big amount of money coming, did you see that? Amazing. Uh, so that trade has been filled and we've got our pound profit from here. Now we've left that um, unmatched bet in the market and we can continue to leave that if we want to and trade elsewhere in and around here. Um, so if we want to trade and wait for a position to go in one direction that we can or we could just wait for the market to come up and touch that uh, particular price and maybe take the price out from there. But can you see what's happening on the ladder here as well? We can see um, when we joined this market all these prices were aligned but we can see now that the price on the favorite is going out, this one's coming in slightly, that one's pretty much where it started and so is this one as well. But the ladder actually gives you like a visual view of the market. If you're looking at the very, very short term, um, you'll see that it's flashing in one direction or another. Instantly, the time is flashing as well. It's telling us we've only got 20 seconds or so uh, before this race starts. So I'm going to just cancel that order there because that's not going to get matched. But um, you can read a number of things in here. This um, flashing is indicating uh, yellow indicates that the last match price is the same as it was before. Green indicates that the price is going up and red indicates that the last match price was below the current price. You can also see over here that £44,000 has been traded at 4.8, so that's obviously a key point in the market. But you can also see there's been no money matched above 5.8, so the ladder is telling you all of this information visually just by looking at it. If we go to the bottom, if we scroll down, you can see that nobody's been willing to back this horse below 3.3 .3 as well. So it's had a low of 3.3, a high of 5.8, and most of the money has been matched at 4.8. But we don't really care because we managed to get our trade through the market fairly uh, quickly. They're about to race, so what I'm going to do up here is just click on this and this will hedge our profit across the entire market. If I go to the one-click screen, there you go, it's in play. We did that in just enough time. If I go to the one-click screen, you can see the hedged profit across the entire market there. So there you go, that was a fairly simple trade that we did on the ladder but it gave you a good indication um, of what we were trying to do based upon all the activity that we could see in the market and that's typically how you would use the ladder interface.